Hey everybody, it's Kim Danke, the Chabot Lift new member, Fast Track instructor. Thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight we are going to be going over void replacements, freebies, extras, and snacks, as well as the best meal replacements for weight loss, which is simply any meal replacement that is in the negative two to negative three weight loss meter range. So there's no specific ones. It's just whatever is in that range. So if you are on Facebook, take, please take a second to say hello, just like my friend Jonathan Montgomery did. And if you can hit that share button and let people see what we have to offer. They get a sneak peek into what a Shibboleth membership would offer them. So please hit that share button for us. And if you're on Facebook, just say hello. Let me know where you're from. Also, if you're on Facebook and you're not a member, please let me know. Hey, Grace, glad you're here. Thank you for joining us again. If you are in the Zoom room, please take a second, just like Leisha, Deb, and Vicki did, to set their chat to everyone and then say hello. So glad that you're all here. It's wonderful. Who's had a perfect day today? I've had a perfect day today. I'm happy about that. Okay, Paige had a perfect day. Let's see, Pam, hey everyone. She had a perfect day. Andrea, hey Andrea, glad you're here. Hey Patty, thank you for sharing. Hey, Grace had a perfect day. Awesome, I'm excited to hear that. Deb had a perfect IMF day and that's what I do too, Deb. There's really no reason in my opinion not to IMF because at a, IMF stands for intermittent fasting. And at its minimum, Intermittent fasting is 12 hours without eating, and you can use your sleeping time. So I would think everybody could accomplish that um, at, at its basic level. And, and at, the, at the beginning, you know, I was more like 12 to 14 hours, but now I do 16 a day. So I had my last meal at four o'clock this afternoon. I like to eat during the day. So I have figured that out. I was talking with Patty about that today, that four o'clock seems to be a time where I wanted to eat and she does too. So what I figured out was if I have a snack, then I'm not really hungry for dinner. And then I got hungry later. So then if I just go ahead and have dinner around four, it satisfies me for the whole rest of the night. And I'm like, okay, I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, well, I just wanted to give us a few minutes to let people get on here, and but we're going to go ahead and get started. Tonight, we're doing lap five, so this is a fast track, so I'm going right here. See, I have it saved as a favorite right there, fast track laps, and lap five is where we're going to be, and I'm going to mix it up tonight, and I'm going to start at the bottom of this list tonight. It doesn't really matter tonight where you start, so I'm going to start at number, I'm going to start at the bottom one. And just a reminder, this is a little tutorial here. This is only an eight minute little tutorial. If you're watching this, you probably don't need that. But we, we have lots of different places for people to find information because people are all over the place. And you have to like figure out where people are going to watch that information. So anyway, we've got lots of options for folks. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look, we're going to look at seven, at least now we might not look at seven each, but I'm looking to ask you to add seven meal replacements to your new member worksheet. Remember this worksheet in lap three? Here's where you can list seven freebies, seven extras, seven snacks, and seven meal, meal replacements. So first of all, <clears throat> Sorry, I had something happen in my throat. <clears throat> when you look at that worksheet, what I love about this worksheet is it shows you that freebies are things that you could technically eat anytime you were hungry and you needed to. Now, obviously, less is best, but freebies aren't going to really hurt you. An extra is just something a little extra that you could have. Really, it's to satisfy, it's to satisfy our taste buds or to satisfy our mind is what it is there for. Um, and 
even though it's lawful, it's not necessarily expedient and neither is a snack and it's more calories than an extra would be. And then you've got meal replacements. Well, meal replacements are, they take the place of an entire meal. So I just want to point out that these are options. If you're not into meal replacements, then you need to come up with all of this for sure up here, which we all do, because we're not all going to eat just meal replacements. We're not all going to eat just real food, mostly. Okay, so you just have a variety. That's the thing about Shibboleth. You know, there's some other lifestyles or programs or diets or things like that that are out there that sell you their food. Well, when that happens, first of all, it's very expensive. and we just teach you how to do all of it. And if you still want to have um, like purchased food, like you'd buy from a company, we got all that available. It's all, all of that's available in Shibboleth. You get everything in Shibboleth. And that's, that's the beauty of it. It's that we don't exclude anything. We just tell you what works. In fact, I was at the Kennesaw store today and somebody called up and they said, I used to do Optavia. I've got a lot of the products. Is that a, a, allowed on Shibboleth? And there's quite a few Optavia products in, um, in the website. So obviously she got tired of spending the money. So she wanted to come over to Shibboleth. So, she, but she wanted to use up what she'd already purchased. And there's quite a few in our recipe. I mean, in our food library, we've already looked them up. So that's the beautiful thing about Shibboleth. We don't exclude anything. We teach you how to do everything and it's wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna look lap five. We're gonna start with meal replacements. These meals are a perfect combination of fiber, protein, carbs, et cetera, that make up a complete meal. In weight loss, it is best to use negative two and negative three meal replacements. So we're going to click right there. And this is going to take us to the food library. Now, if I wanted to access, let me show you. If I wanted to access <clears throat> meal replacements in general, I'd go to the food library, which I did right here in this green tab, I would come down and I clicked food library already, but look right here, there's meal replacements. There's meal replacements right there. And then I could just kind of play around in there, but I specifically want you to pick from negative two, negative three meal replacements. And if you'll notice, it's already set to that. So that link in fast track, you don't even have to set the weight loss meter. I already set it when I linked it in there. So that's set to that. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of these things. I really like the AHS pancakes as a meal replacement. And so let's click on that and read that. So if you think you might like AHS pancakes, write it down. Okay, we at least wanna come up with seven. And it's, it's just saying, yeah, I think I might wanna try that. And pancakes. They may not taste exactly like old fashioned pancakes, okay? But they're good, they're good, and they help us not hurt us, all right? So please keep that in mind. Sometimes the very first time you taste something, you're expecting it to taste like the old thing that you used to eat, and if it doesn't, sometimes you go, ooh, I don't like that. Well, what I want you to know is that next time you try that, your mind isn't going to be thinking about it as before, and you may like it the second time you try it. You may even like it the third time. So, so don't give up on something. If there's a lot of people out there saying they really like something, make sure that you don't give up on trying it, even if you don't like it the very first time you try it. Okay, keep trying it. So this one, notice we got three different ways to use this. It can be used as a snack a meal replacement, or a perfect pairing. And it's a negative three on the weight loss meter, but here's the thing. Which one of these ways is it a negative three on the weight loss meter? We're gonna find that out in just a second when we scroll down and read the description. But over here on the approved portion, it says one to two packages. And then it says see description, which is important. Now we sell these in our little store. If you would like to support our store and our ministry, you click right there. And then you see the pancakes and then you add them to your cart. Anything $30 or more ships for free and you get 
20% off anything in the store if you are a member. That is a perk of being a member. If you are listening in today, please know that the first class is always free. But after that, we would like for you to go ahead and get a membership. It is on the honesty system. Memberships are not very expensive at all. In fact, let me see what, if you have my link, what is it running? So right now, $69, okay? So that, that's not bad at all. Okay, so go ahead and get a membership and you can do that at shibolithdeals.com, shibolithdeals.com. And if you heard about Shibolith from a person, please type in their first and last name so that we can thank them. We give them 5% to spend in the shop, either online or in person. Okay, so we're gonna get back to those pancakes. So pancakes would be a good option to go ahead and write on your list. Okay, so I have it hearted. Um, 146 other people have said they like these pancakes as well. And if we scroll down and look at the description, it shows two packages, which actually, I, depending on how I do it, I've made four pancakes, I've made eight pancakes. It's just depending on thinness and size. But uh, if I want a whole bunch, feel like I'm eating a whole bunch, I make them smaller and it's just fun. Okay, so two packages as a meal is a negative three weight loss meter meal. That is normally how I do these. I normally do these as a meal. If you did one package of pancakes with half a cup of egg whites, that would be a perfect pairing actually. And it would also be a negative three on the weight loss meter. The reason it's a perfect pairing is because it's not an exact proper combination on the combination chart, because this is not a category, is it? But we're putting it with a category and it'll work. And so we call that a perfect pairing. All right, the next thing you could do is one package of the pancakes with one egg or, that's an or, not an and, or two pieces of approved sausage would be a negative two on the weight loss meter meal. And then if you had one package alone as a snack, it would be a plus one on the weight loss meter. So those are really, really good. So if you are interested in pancakes, mark those down. And if y'all have any questions while I'm talking, please make sure that you type them in. Um, let's come down here. Let's see what else I have, Mark. This Beverly Ump. If you like a protein shake, Travis says that this protein shake is the best on the market. It has all of the essential and non-essential amino acids in there, and most don't have all of them. This is a meal replacement. You can find it right there on our store. We'd love for you to support us. If for some reason you want to support Amazon, you click right there. But here's the interesting thing. If you just use a link, so yesterday I bought some stuff on Amazon and I used a link through the Shibboleth website. I didn't even put that item in my cart and bought it and Shibboleth will get a little kickback, two to four cents on the dollar, okay? It's not much, but it, every bit helps when you're a ministry. Okay, so we're gonna come down here and we've got our description. I'm not gonna take the time to read this description, but just know that you can lose a lot of weight and this stuff tastes really, really good. And there's lots of options. So lots of lots of options that you can do with the Beverly Ump. Ump stands for Ultimate Muscle Protein. And you want to make sure that you use it the way it is described in this description, not the way that it's described on this container because on this container, the description will be slightly different than what's here. Travis has already figured out what's best for weight loss, and he keeps you safe by putting it in the food library. Hey, Dawn, yeah, you need to try that ump. It is really, really good. My favorite flavor is the angel food cake. That's my favorite flavor. So we're going to head back over to meal replacements. My computer it seems to be being a little slow tonight. <clears throat> 643 other people have said they like the Beverly Ump. Okay, so what else do we have right down here? 
the Choco Right protein powder shake mix. I actually just did a little video on this down at the Kennesaw Shibby Shop. And so that's just another protein shake that you can get. Here's the thing about this one. If you like peanut butter flavored shakes, Travis says that you need to get this one, that this is the best flavored peanut butter shake in his opinion, Choco Right protein powder shake mix. And you could just click there. And let's see, Deb says she just picked up the chocolate vanilla and angel food of the Unk. Awesome. Awesome. And if you click right here on find it on our store, you would be able to click on this and then purchase whichever flavor you like. There's banana cream, cappuccino, chocolate fudge brownie, uh, chocolate supreme. And it looks like we were out of peanut butter at the moment. So you just have to come back when we had it. We do have one in Kennesaw because I saw it tonight. Um, so if anybody lives close by and wants that, you can go by and get it. And strawberry cream, there's three. So let's just say we want to add a strawberry cream to our cart. And there we go. All right, let's see what else I want to talk about. Oh, Mighty Muffin. Mighty Muffin is absolutely wonderful. I ate about 20 in my first 20 days because I like food that tastes good. It was good. It was um, kept me satisfied and was easy. So that's really what I needed to get started. And I just made use of those Mighty Muffins. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I made use of the Mighty Muffins. In the Shibboleth new member fast track group on Facebook, marked in the announcements, I have what I ate for my first 20 days. And you probably can count about 20 Mighty Muffins on there. Um, yeah, Patty says they're great. She loves them and they do keep you satisfied. So we have all the great thing about shopping for these with us is that we have a lot more flavors than they carry out in regular grocery stores. Regular grocery stores typically carry blueberry, peanut butter, and the double chocolate, but we carry the s'mores and the cinnamon roll and the lemon cream and lemon cream tastes like fruity pebbles. If you like fruity pebbles, it's so good. All right, so let's see come down here health wise so ahs which stands for advanced health systems and health wise are both products that were specifically made for weight loss so we've got them in our um in our food library so there's some high protein soups if you like maybe a tomato soup with a grilled cheese that makes a great meal with the right soup and the rightly made grilled cheese. And so you're eating the same exact thing you might have eaten before, but it's going to help you not hurt you. Yeah, that lemon cream is delicious, Patty. I love it. So we can go ahead and mark that one down. There's HealthWise oatmeal. Look, there's a pan, there's a HealthWise pancake mix. Let's click on that one because it also has other flavors. Um, and there's several different ways to use that. And it looks like it's the exact same way as the other one, but it's the health wise. Now let's click on here and look at it in the store because I want you to see the flavors here. This one, well, we must be out, but normally they have chocolate chip pancakes, golden pancakes and pumpkin spice pancakes. And the reason that we are out of some of these things is just because production is hard to, um, in the world, it's hard for these things to be made and shipped out with what all's going on. Okay. Now, hemp bars. I had a third of a hemp bar this morning for breakfast. This is delicious. And I'll have, I had a third for breakfast yesterday morning. I'll have a third today and I'll have a third in the morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Dawn had the AHS fettuccine Alfredo for dinner. Did you put anything in it or did you have it by itself? Oh, yeah. Patty likes a hemp bar. Um, <laughs> but this is a 12-inch bar. I cut it at four inches and at eight inches, and a third of it is um, breakfast for me. 
I typically only do it for breakfast, but it's a negative three on the weight loss meter meal. Very healthy, very, very good for you. Okay, so Dawn added some hemp to the fettuccine alfredo. Sounds good and very, very simple, which is nice. <clears throat> Sorry, I wanna show you some of the flavors. We may have looked at these already, but I wanna click on that. And we've got, look at all those flavors. So if you like nuts, you can get some nut ones. If you like dried fruit and you have missed some fruit because you're cutting it out to achieve your results, this would be a good place to be able to get some fruit. We got apricot and blueberry. And then we've got cashew and cherry, coconut, cranberry, date, hazelnut, macadamia nut, papaya, pecan, uh, pineapple, prune, raisin, and the raisins are those golden raisins, strawberry and walnut. Now, all the nut ones are my favorite. Yeah, Michelle had the AHS fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli and chicken for dinner. So we're seeing a pattern. Y'all might want to get yourself some um, AHS chick, uh, fettuccine Alfredo. <clears throat> Patty Bass like strawberry. Well, it's like eating a, a chocolate covered strawberry is why it's so good. Patty, I like that it has sharer around your name. That, that Thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Those little Facebook badges. If anybody on here has one they like, let me know. I'll be happy to look it up. But see, some of these things, if you've never been a big uh, purchaser of meal replacement stuff, you're not going to recognize some of these names. Now, Atkins and the ones that have been around for so long, you might. So what might be good to do is to kind of scan down and see how many other people have said that they like it too. See, here is, look, Jimmy Dean Delights, Farmer's Recipe Egg White Omelet, Jimmy Dean Loaded Sausage Bites, turkey sausage and egg and cheese. See, I'm just thinking, see, I like sweet stuff and I like to feel like I'm having muffins and cakes and candy and candy bars and stuff like that. So that's why I lean towards that. But these things like this Jimmy Dean stuff right here, this is, um, this is, you know, what you could easily call real food. It's just a meal replacement because it's got everything that you need in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love that Finiflex oatmeal protein pie. It's delicious. And Sherry says she loves the AHS cinnamon cereal. Me too. Me too. I've got like two boxes right now in my pantry. And look, I just want to show you there's Isogenics. So if you've done Isogenics or have any Isogenics products, there's an Isopro shake. Um, and there might be more. Remember, this one has just been narrowed down to negative two, negative three meals. This little man, G G Jeffrey Luke's square meals, this thing is so good. Normally, this is holiday for me. I know they might look interesting, but have y'all ever eaten crackling oat bran? This reminds me of crackling oat bran. And it, it can be a snack or a meal replacement. So it said over here on the approved portion, one reasonable handful is a snack and two handfuls is a meal. Well, I tried to figure out what reasonable was by looking at the... Um, the uh, nutrition label and everything like that. So I have come up with three squares as a snack and six squares is a meal replacement. So that's the way I do that. I love that y'all are sharing what you like. If y'all hear somebody say something that you might wanna try, write it down. So a meal replacement is just that thing where you, are in a hurry or you just need something uh, quick and easy. Not every morning of your life are you going to be able to make breakfast, um, depending on your season of life and where you are. And you might need to know which things need to be quick and easy and which mornings you can make breakfast. And so it's nice to have some of these uh, things picked out or lunch or dinner, whatever might be going on. So that's a meal replacement. And just to kind of let you know, if you needed this meal replacement to have, um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think one I don't use very often. Let's say that you want one that has no artificial sweetener in it. I just click that button. Now it's going to filter out and there we go. So if you want one, 
that is a negative two, negative three with no artificial sweeteners in it, there's the list that you would start picking from, okay? So that just kind of uh, helps narrow that down. All right, well, we've looked at meal replacements. The next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at snacks. Now, remember a snack, one snack per day is allowed, but not necessarily expedient. Just because something is allowed doesn't mean that it's required. Keep in mind that it is better though to have an approved snack than give up a perfect day in a moment of mental weakness. It is still counted as a perfect day and you are still in EFB. You can find hundreds of approved snacks listed here and you can have it any type of time of day. Yes, and Patty is saying on Facebook that she does a pack of bio coffee and a pack of HealthWise hot chocolate together as a meal replacement. And that is an excellent meal replacement. <clears throat> if you're not too super hungry in the morning, that's a good thing to do because it also allows you time for sipping. Sometimes it takes me the whole time sipping on that till my next meal. Although if you're being a zealot, Travis would say, when you're finished with that meal, that's when your time start. <clears throat> but I'm not such a zealot. Okay, let's come down here and let's look at some other things. Nuts and seeds. So if you, I'm not one that's real good at cutting off small amounts of nuts or seeds because I like them a lot. So if, but if you can cut those off, nuts and seeds can be a snack. Um, and then Patty's saying that she loves the Carb Master low fat cottage cheese with peaches as a snack. And the Carb Master yogurt is great too. Yeah, those are great snacks. And I can't see what else you wrote because it's way up there and it says see more and I can't reach to see more. Um, one of the things that I really do like as a snack right here is this Applegate's Naturals gluten free uncured beef corn dogs. If you were wanting a corn dog, you could do one as a snack. Now, it's not a meal replacement. Doesn't say you could eat it as a meal replacement. It's a snack. So it, it doesn't have enough of something, and but it's just enough of something to be used as a snack. Yes. Um, so you can click there if you want a corn dog, which is good. Look, approved peanut butter can be a snack. Now, one thing I want you to see, see these, see these blue boxes? These are the weight loss meters. Most of the time, you're gonna see a lot of zeros or ones. And you can occasionally see a negative one as a snack. And I tell you what, the more negative the snack, the better that is. But the reason that most of these are a zero is because used as a snack, it is um, not great for weight loss. And so any snack typically goes over to a zero, okay? So just to let you know that. Approved peanut butter could do one tablespoon as a snack. Two tablespoons would be a meal. You could also use that with approved bread or maybe you wanna put it on some celery or something like that, you could do that. Um, if you are looking for quantity of peanut butter, you should get the better than peanut butter, which is really good. You get four tablespoons for a meal and two for a snack on the better than peanut butter. So I have recently found Atkins products. I have not ever bought any in my entire life. And I was standing at the end of an end cap in Walmart one night while my husband was looking for um, light bulbs. And I just spotted something that looked like a payday. And then I scanned up and I'm like, Atkins, I bet you anything that's approved. And so I looked it up and it was, and it tastes exactly like a payday. But this one right here, the Atkins Caramel Chocolate Nut Roll Bar tastes like a baby Ruth. And it's a snack, very good. I enjoyed it so, so much. And look, there's tons of Atkins products on here. Look, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Arbonne, but Arbonne is a skincare and health, health line. We got Arbonne products in here. If it works, we'll put it in here so people can use their products. Because you don't have to, like if you sell Arbonne, you can still live the Shibboleth lifestyle and use your products. You still need the rest of the Shibboleth lifestyle to help you with that. These things like an Arbonne shake or an Isogenics shake or an Optavia product, these products in and of themselves 
don't really do the job on its on their own. It takes you living the whole lifestyle of like getting your water in every day. Yes, I'm excited to write down what I'm eating and all of that goes together. So you got to do it together. There's that peanut caramel cluster bar that tastes just like a uh, payday. And look, look at, I mean, look how many Atkins products. Whenever you see the letters RTD, that stands for ready to drink. So this would be an Atkins ready to drink iced coffee protein shake, an Atkins ready to drink protein rich shake, 11 ounces. So RTD stands for ready to drink. Oh, we come down here. We got Benito's products. I like Benito's products. The baked bean crunch is like having a puffy Cheeto. And they're very, very good. And then the Benitos, you got your bean chips, which are really good. Um, they sell in lots of flavors. Let me see if we've got any in right now. I want to see what we've got in. In my pantry, I have the nacho cheese ones. Mm, they are good. Very, very good. And I have hint of lime and I have original black bean. So those are my favorite right there but they are so, so good. <clears throat> so as for snacks, you just need to at least pick seven that you either might wanna try or that you already like. Um, let's come down, I wanna do one thing real quick. I, Cause see, I was looking at this fully spread out on the weight loss meter because snacks are typically not great for weight loss so when it's a snack it always is going to go to a zero at least on the weight loss meter so if you want to see what's the best of the best for a snack we could put this down to negative two negative three and see if anything pulls up it will not be a huge list Okay, so, but we do have some that are listed and you can start off with those. Now, I still would have to say that when you go into that and you read the description, it might still tell you that that item used as a snack would be a zero. So you've got to make those wise choices, okay? All right, so let's have a look at <clears throat> extras. The way I explain an extra is it's just something a little extra. So you're walking out of the steakhouse and they have those Andes mints sitting in that bowl. Or you're walking out of the restaurant and they've got those peppermints. You pick one up, you eat it. It's something a little extra. All right. But when you eat that Andes mint or that peppermint, it's having a blood sugar impact on your body and it's storing whatever fat you just ate at that restaurant. So um, <laughs> we don't want to do that with it. But I think that's the best way to describe an extra. And there are some other things that you can use as an extra. One extra per day is allowed. But remember, it's not necessarily expedient. Just because something is allowed doesn't mean that it's required. But it's obviously better to have an approved extra than to give up a perfect day. So let's click here. The extras that are really, really popular are the Olay uh, Mexican cheese dip. You do a quarter cup of that. And what you would want to do is you would want to just open that up and read it. So let's click there. And y'all have all seen that at the store probably. With veggies, it counts as an extra and it would be zero on the weight loss meter. With approved chips, it counts as an extra and a snack. The chips would be the snack. The cheese dip would be the extra. And look, it's a plus two on the weight loss meter, which means that it's really not that great for weight loss, but it won't bring you out of EFB. So sometimes what I do when I wanna have something like that, I'll have two meals and then for like a third eating episode, I would put together an extra and a snack and eat that as a third eating episode. Um, I could do that. But I really, if I, a day that I was going to do this, I wouldn't want to have three meals and this too. And you can see right here, see where it says 40, 40 calories. That's 40 calories for one tablespoon. I wonder what 
a quarter cup is. But anyway, normally an extra is no more than about 40 calories, but there have been some judgment calls that are made. And I think this is one of them because one tablespoon, I don't know how many a quarter cup is of tablespoons. That's going to add up a little bit. Um, and then let's come down here. You've got these little things, these little choco right chocolate candies. They're used as an extra or a snack, depending on how many you eat of them. So let's click on this sugar-free milk chocolate pecan cluster. I really like this one a lot. Um, one piece is an extra. Up to four pieces would be a snack. Now look right here on this little um, red circle on this box. Do you see how that says only 35 calories per piece? That keeps it under the 40 that they really like for an extra to be, unless Travis has made a judgment call. And he has made a judgment call on several things. And we'll go over next some of the most popular of these. But if you were to eat four of the little pieces, it would be a snack. Now, if you buy one of these boxes, it comes like this. It has two patties in a package. So if you're just wanting to have an extra, then it would be one patty. And then you'd have another patty just sitting there for maybe tomorrow if you wanted to have an extra. But if you're using this as a snack, it would be two full packages. It'd be four patties. But fewer food is best. So if you just open that up and have a half snack, that'd be better especially when it comes to these uh, things that these things are there to fill voids. All right. Cause we like chocolate and we like candy and we like those things. And we still want to get results while enjoying food. Isn't that the dream? The dream is to enjoy what you like and get results. That's why those things are in there. So let's look at some other things that we've got. I would say this fudge sickle, no sugar added fudge pop would probably be good. I'm going to heart that. See how I'm just kind of hearting things that I like? Guacamole could be used as an extra. Um, Halo top light ice cream mini pops. I haven't found, I mean, I've seen those, but I haven't bought them yet, but I did heart them recently. Um, okay, this one right here, Healthwise hot chocolate or the Shibboleth hot chocolate. This one is definitely one where Travis made a judgment call because there's about 80 calories in one serving of this, but it's got 15 grams of protein in it. So he just said, okay, let's give you know, our members something super satisfying with a lot of protein in it. And if they just do one serving of it, it's an extra. So sometimes I will do that as an extra. Then bio coffee, one packet of bio coffee is an extra. One packet of the cocoa ringa is an extra. <clears throat> See, there's another Isogenics product. I'm just, ran, I'm just randomly pointing those out tonight because since we had somebody call tonight and ask about their Optavia products. Um, Look, Metamucil's even listed there. But we could keep going on and on. Um, there's Newman's own mild salsa. We'll mark that. But there's uh, olives can be used as an extra on the border chunky salsa. So you just kind of come through here and read and see which things that you might like to use. What did I want to mention? Um, oh. If you go to Chick-fil-A and order a small diet lemonade, it's an extra. It's an extra. So if you have the habit of coming home from work and having a little extra while you're cooking dinner or something like that, just to kind of keep you satisfied, or maybe you have the habit of using an extra after a meal as a little dessert or something like that. If you've got that habit going on and let's say you went to Chick-fil-A for lunch and you had a diet lemonade there, you don't want to do that extra when you get home because you already had your extra for the day. And this is what we're, we're doing. You're, you're managing your day. And with management, you're going to get results. Let's see. Patty says that she loves bio coffee. It's her favorite. Oh, yeah. And that diet lemonade, it is the bomb. It is. It's totally, totally the bomb. So we looked at some extras. Let's look at a couple of freebies. 
freebies, um, the ones that I think that people use the most are pickles, um, dill pickles. I don't because I don't like pickles, but that is what I hear used most often as a freebie. Um, the other thing I, I hear used as a freebie is um, sugar-free Jello. Um, I actually have this one in my pantry, the AHS Chicken Bouillon. It's also a fibrous carb if you're using it as part of a meal, but if you're drinking it, you know, in a moment of weakness where you feel like you're going to give in, then that's when you call it a freebie. But I have that in the, in the uh, pantry, and this is something that you can buy in our store, and it really tastes like egg drop soup. So if you, uh, we've talked a lot tonight about sweet things, but if you are one that likes something more savory, then this would be a really great freebie for you to have. And Patty's saying the sugar-free pickles. Yeah, <laughs> Patty's reminding us to get the small lemonade, not the large. That's true. So this is a great product if you like savory over sweet. Or, like me, I like both. So I have it in the pantry as well. And look right here. Do you see it's got snacks, extras, freebies? There's a whole link to it. <clears throat> All of your fibrous carb vegetables are also going to be called a freebie. Just keep in mind that if the night before you cooked those fibrous carb veggies up in MCT oil, it's no longer a freebie. It will be a freebie if it's just kind of um, on its own. I use bell, I used bell peppers a couple of times as a freebie over the years um, that I've been with Shibboleth. Um, now carrots, the only way that carrots are a freebie is if you're eating just a palm full of those raw baby carrots. Yeah, uh, Patty's saying that the AHS chicken bouillon is great if you get hungry before bed to sip on that before bed. And a lot of things in here you're going to see as freebies like alkaline water. I mean, there's just lots and lots of random things listed in here. And that's what I love. If you've got a question about something, let us see it if you're not finding it in here, because we want to add to this um, anytime. Now, cucumbers were, I enjoyed cucumbers as a freebie. Uh, there's the dill pickles listed as a freebie. Um, and like, this is everything bagel seasoning. They're just saying it's a freebie because it's a seasoning. So you're going to see a lot of those things. But why it's important to kind of read through here is because you start to familiarize yourself. You know, you'll start categorizing and cataloging all of this information in your head. And the things that you tend to use the most often will be all cataloged right there in your head. Kind of like the Dewey Decimal System. Anybody remember that? Okay. And then we're going to wrap up with this we're gonna have a look at the void replacement resource. Check here to find approved replacements for some of your favorite things to avoid having an unplanned holiday. So this is where you could come in here and there's just a big old long list. Three Musketeers, Almond Joy, uh, Aunt Jemima Pancake Syrup, Baby Ruth Candy Bar, and so forth, okay? So you would just kind of scan down through there for the. Some of the things that were hurting you before, you're just going to look through there and you're going to see which new thing would be what you'd want to go to. So this is your resource for that. And it is not an, uh, an all-inclusive. So for example, if you click on, let's see if I can find one. Yeah, if you click on Lay's potato chips, it may not have every potato chip that you might find in the food library there. It's going to have, let's see right here, it's going to open it up. It's going to say, do not eat it. Do not eat it. And it gives you two options right there, two options. But there's more options for chips in the uh, food library. So just out of curiosity, let me see what pulls up when I type in chips right there. See, it gave me even a few more right there. So let's see, because we just looked at that one. Kettle potato chips, yep, well, that still said the pop chips. Fritos corn chips, yeah, the double bites, the double bites are like that. We sell those at our store. And then uh, it pulled up cookies because I typed in chips. Okay, so you can use that void replacement search bar to search for things. 
or you can just scroll down through there and see what was I eating before and what do I need to do now? So those are really great ways to do that. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on over to our little store because I want to look at the way that you can see some things in the store. Let's see, Patty. Okay, so Patty's helping people over there on Facebook. Thank you, Patty. Um, so we're here in the store. You can order wherever you live in the country. You can order and we'll ship it to you. As if it's $30 or more, it ships for free. You do get 20% off in our store. So you can look by sections here, all kinds of sections, or you can look with different filters, newest, the newest items. You can look for best sellers and, oh, those that shirt thing's about to open up, but it's not yet, so we're not going to talk about that. Um, there's MCT oil. Mentioned that on, on uh, Sunday night and Monday night. This is the MCT oil, so that's a really great thing. Do you see these little stars in here with these points in it? You get points for shopping in our store, which also turn into little gift certificates back to you to shop more in the store. And if you refer people to the Shibboleth lifestyle, you get 5% of whatever membership price they paid that will go into the store too. Oh yeah, I want every shirt too, Patty. Um, there's that bio coffee. <clears throat> now, if you notice, do you see how right here this says member discount special? And you'll notice on the bio coffee, it doesn't have that. That's because bio coffee won't let us discount it. So every once in a while, you will come across a product like that. But most of them, see, we got member discount specials on them, but bio coffee won't let anybody sell it for any different price. That's just the way they do that. These are those double bite chips that are like um, the corn chips. They're really good. Um, here's some hemp flakes. There's that hot chocolate that we talked about. There's ghee butter. There's those pancakes. There's, there's some vitamins right there. This is Zero Drag Vitamins Plus. We also have Plus Probiotic too. Now here is the AHS Fettuccine Alfredo that has been mentioned so many times tonight over on Facebook. Um, and so, you know, that's just a picture of it. It just comes in an individual package. You just cook it up and this has got hemp flakes on it, just like um, Dawn said that she had it. And then there's a little video there. If you want to watch somebody uh, do that, you can add it to your cart. And now I have all of these things in my cart sitting there. This stuff is delicious right here. This is so fun. It's a yogurt, basically. It's got four strains of uh, probiotics in it. You can make a large snack amount. It's like 28 ounces. Or wait, how many ounces? 12 ounces. 12 ounces of that's a snack. And like four ounces is an extra. It makes a lot. And then, um, awesome, Angelia. Angelia on the Zoom room says, I have good news. I had to buy some slacks for my new job and I was able to get a size smaller. Woohoo. That is awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations, Angelia. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that with us. We love to hear that. That's fabulous. But what I use this yogurt mix for is I also put it in my Oikos triple zero yogurt or some other yogurts because I don't like yogurt. But I found that if I put a little bit of this in it, it made it like a mousse. And I do like it like a mousse, but I don't like it like a yogurt. Um, this comes in vanilla and chocolate and cookies and cream and peanut butter. Now, this is really neat. Okay. Tomorrow night, we're going to be talking about a survival kit. A survival kit are those things that you want to make sure that you have with you when you go out to a restaurant or if you um, uh, 
or at work or something like that, and you find you need these things, these are individual packets of Walden Farms ranch dressing. See, Walden Farms products comes in, you know, jars like that, and some people will just take their jar with them, but this is individual packets. Like you'd go to Chick-fil-A and they give you um, dressing with your salad, then there's these little Walden Farms individual packets, which are awesome. Let's see, is it a powder form frozen yogurt mix? Yes, Pam, it is. It is. If you like jerky, there's some turkey jerky that you can get. There's that carb quick that we talked about the other night. The best way to get that. Uh, Laura, are you talking to me? I live in Kennesaw, Georgia. Power Crunch. I love Power Crunch bars. There's those Benito's mac and cheese that is like um, a Cheeto puff. This is another hemp product. This is a hemp dessert. I just do the bars because I find them easier to do. Um, this is the Explore Cuisine black bean pasta. I kind of like the edamame one just a little bit better. I thought I would like the black bean one better than the edamame. Turns out I like the edamame one a little bit better. I'm talking like one, one, uh, one spot up on the like range. There you go. If you needed blow pops, there's some candy, some suckers right there. There's creamy chicken pasta. That's another one of those AHS products. Now, if you like little chip things and cookie bites, we got all kinds of stuff on here. It's amazing. Why do we have these things on here? Because over 20 years of doing this, Travis has tasted and he has uh, found products that he likes, but they are not easily found out in grocery stores. And so we just have them all here for convenience sake. Do you have to buy any of this? Nope. There is no requirement. But if you want to, we have it here for convenience. I mean, who doesn't love to come here, get a 20% discount? get it shipped for $30 or more and get points to go back into your little um, account to shop more. Now these Shibboleth protein bars, they are absolutely delicious. If you ever liked a um, Rice Krispie treat, this is like, they're better. I never did like Rice Krispie treats, but this is what they're like. And these things kind of uh, fall apart in your mouth. They're not as hard as a Rice Krispie treat um, to eat. Quest cookies. I mean, who doesn't love a cookie for breakfast? I love it when I can eat a cookie for breakfast. Sounds good to me. There's that bio coffee. And look, there's this Alfredo. This, this is a calorie free. This is a calorie free condiment. So if you get this um, product here, and let's just say that you're not crazy about the flavor of it. What you can do is take an, a dry Alfredo packet, pour it in there and see if you like that flavor better. So sometimes, you know, they're trying to make it calorie free, but then people are so used to the other stuff that they, they've used before that if you just ump up the flavor a little bit, you might like it better and it really wouldn't hurt you at all. There's some pasta. This is a category one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So that means it's got lean protein in it. It's got fibrous carbs in it and it's got energy carbs in it. So this actually could be eaten all by itself because it's a proper combo all by itself. But if you wanted to add some meat to this carbonata, you would need to pull that from your lean protein categories. You would not put a protein plus fat with this because of the energy carb properties. This is a product called Egg Whites International. A lot of times people will use the, this as their egg whites, but they'll also put it in the Beverly Ump shake or the Choco Ripe shake. And this is the only egg whites that Travis trusts for you to use it raw. So that's why this is here. Cause you know, you can buy egg whites in the grocery store and cook them up. These are the only ones that he's suggesting that you use raw. He also would suggest that you use this as your liquid for cereal um, too. And somebody, somebody just sat there and went, ooh, gross, but don't knock it till you've tried it, okay? And then this right here, this is really cool. 
This is a high protein, shelf stable, microwavable meal. My example for this is to take these to work. And if you ever have a time where lunch didn't go as planned or you ended up having to work late, just grab one of these shelf stable, microwavable meals. People love them. Or um, my friend Marla is a flight attendant and she flies all around the country. She takes these with her. And when she gets into her hotel room, pops it into the microwave and um, can eat it for her meal. There's the, some of those high protein soups. This would be a health wise product. This is a health wise high protein oatmeal. Oh, these are really, really good. The Shibboleth high protein wafers, absolutely delicious. If you ever liked a sugar wafer, that's what this is like. Um, Quest chips, always good. And that loaded taco flavor is delicious. Absolutely delicious. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna to start to wrap this up, but this is a mac and cheese, which is really, really good. You know, it's just like if you were to buy craft and you have that little powder cheese packet, that's what it's got in there. But why is this one so much better than craft? Because there's about 44, um, I was gonna say 50, but it says 44, 44% calories less than regular pasta. It's got 25 grams of fiber. And here's what's important about fiber. Fiber is zero calorie. This has got 25 grams of fiber where regular pasta has about two grams. So you can see why there's 44% less calories in this because it's got 25 grams of fiber in it and fiber is zero calorie. And then it's got uh, 25 grams of net carbs where most other pastas are like close to 50. And this has got eight grams of uh, protein where the others don't have much at all. If you wanted somebody to go along with you on this journey, you could buy a fast track gift certificate. It's only $10 and it gives them access to fast track. Now, what they would not have is they would not have the full food library, the full recipe library and the full restaurant guide they would get a look, they would learn how to do everything and they could use the things. They just don't have access to that full stuff, but it would give them a little sneak peek. And then if they decided that they wanted it, they could upgrade their membership. So that's just 10 bucks. That makes a really great gift, doesn't it, Patty? Patty bought a bunch of those and gave them out as gifts last year. There's the Mighty Muffins. There's the Moringa Hot Chocolate. That's a superfood hot chocolate. It's really, really good for you. There's the stretch a minute, and I've got quite a few stretching uh, videos in the website for you with that product. And I can just go on and on, but let's let's come down here to the bottom because I want to show you something. Do you see right down here at the bottom where it says affiliates? This just means that um, Travis is also affiliated with some other companies. Now, this one is one of the ones that I think people find the most interesting. When we click here, you actually have three hours left because she takes orders every Thursday night. She ends the um, she ends the order taking at midnight on Thursday night. Then she makes all the food over the weekend. Then she ships it out to you. So if you are looking for Shibboleth made meals to be shipped to your house, no matter where you are, then you can order from here. So let's let's look at some of the options. Um, well, you can look at some, never mind. sorry, let's look at right here. There are some breakfast op options, English muffin with egg and cheese, English muffin with sausage, egg and cheese, a fiesta frittata, min mini sesame seed bagels, pancakes and bacon, ranchero breakfast burrito, egg and cheese frittata, and so forth. And there's the egg and cheese mini quiche. So if you're looking for fast and easy, this is really, really good. Look at that. Mixed berry spinach salad with grilled chicken, turkey taco salad, chicken cordon bleu with Normandy vegetable medley, smothered chopstick with mixed veggies. So you can order these things and have them shipped to you. All kinds of options. So all those Hello Freshes and all those different things like that. I don't even know all the names of them. This is 
This is where you'd find this option on Shibboleth. You just scroll all the way down to the bottom and click right here. It's also in some other spots. So if you see the one that says made from scratch, delivered to your door, you could click there. Advocare. That is where you would just go to Travis's Advocare site. He has been an Advocare rep for like 20 years. And if you want to get Spark, which is an energy drink that so many people love, um, you would just click right there. This is where I buy my vitamins. I get my little Sleep Works, which is a little lavender drink that sometimes I drink before bed. I get that there. I buy Carb Ease there, Fibo Trim there. You can get your cleanse packets, your fiber packets, all kinds of stuff from there if you want to, too. Why is Advocare a good product? It's a good product because they really look at the production of that product. Lots and lots of sports people use Advocare, and they really don't want random things in their in their product. So it's a very high quality product. If you look at a lot of sporting events, you're probably going to see Advocare as one of the major advertisers um, around. And then Amway, I'm not sure what all they sell. I don't ever talk about that. I use these two, but you could also check that out. I'm not sure what they, I, now I'm curious. I've never even, I've never, thought this is the first time I've ever talked about that stuff on here. I just saw it down there. So I thought I would introduce it. Now I'm going to go look and see what's available at Amway. <laughs> Um, but y'all, thank you for spending tonight with me. I certainly appreciate it. And I like what all we went over tonight because it makes me feel like I'm getting all the goodies that I always had before, but in a way that helps me, not hurts me. And I like to, I like to help myself, not hurt myself. Um, so tomorrow night, we're going to go over the restaurant guide, the video library, the advanced combination chart, and wow challenges. So I hope that you join me back tomorrow night, and I will be there for the Shibby Show in the morning around 7.30, 7.40-ish, and my prayer for you tonight. Good night, Grace. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, and um, my prayer for you is Keep them safe day and night. Give them courage, strength, and might. So y'all have a great night. Bye.